Hello everybody, welcome to my next Let's Play, which is, uh, you're about to see what it is here in a minute, it's a Nintendo 64 game, and it is, that's right, it's going to be, as you can see from that mask, it's going to be Majora's Mask. Now while this is going on, I'm going to go ahead and talk about some things, uh, about why I like this game and the differences and stuff like that. This game is obviously the follow-up to uh, <laughs> Ocarina of Time. Um, it wasn't going to be made from my understanding because they were going to make the expansion on the 64 disk drive, and which obviously failed, but um, that can be a good thing or a bad thing depending on how you looked at it. If you wanted the more dungeons and stuff that um, would have been in there, then it would have been a good thing but or it's a bad thing that it got cancelled but if it uh, if you wanted this game out it probably would have been a good thing because if it wouldn't have been uh, a failure then this game probably would have never happened so in my opinion it's kind of half good half get bad I would have liked the uh, extra stuff that came along with it but I also would have uh, but I also like this game so I would I mean, granted, if this game wouldn't have come out, I wouldn't know about it, so I wouldn't be upset about it, but, um, now I'm kind of, I'm kind of, sort of glad that it didn't, and from what I've heard, um, Shigeru Miyamoto, from what I've heard, has said that, uh, this pretty much, uh, not this, but the, uh, Master Quest version of Ocarina of Time pretty much is the, uh, what they called Zelda Ura, which would have been, uh, or Ura Zelda, which would have been the, um, with the extra stuff, harder dungeons and all that. So, as we get into this, into this, I'll describe some things I like about it, some things I don't like about it. The thing I do like about it is it's different, and we deal with different, uh, a different uh, enemy other than Ganondorf, which is this uh, guy right here that has a mask on his face, and we also have to deal with this moon. And as we get into it, we will figure out more about what that moon's about. So, let's go ahead and get started with my next Let's Play, The Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask. Alright, so I'm going to erase the file already. Huh? Sorry, I don't know what happened there. But I'm going to erase the uh, file I already have here. I don't know what happened there. Sorry about that. Um, that's my Wii decided to want to be retarded. I don't know. But anyways. <laughs> uh, anyway. I'm going to go ahead and of course I'm going to call him. Uh, what I always normally call him. Which is Link of course. So I'll go ahead and end. Let's go ahead and uh, start the game. In the land of Hyrule, there echoes a legend, a legend held dearly by the royal family that tells of a boy. A boy who, after battling evil and saving Hyrule, crept away from the land that had made him a legend. Done with the battles he once waged across time, he embarked on a journey, a secret and personal journey. A journey in search of a beloved and invaluable friend. A friend with whom he parted ways when he finally fulfilled his heroic destiny and took his place among legends.
to Ferris the Great. I wonder if he has anything on him, good on him. Huh? This guy? Well, that shouldn't be a problem. Oh, oh, what a pretty ocarina. Hey, Skull Kid, let me touch it. I want to see. You can't tell. What would we do if you dropped it and broke it? No way, you can't touch it. Aw, oh, but sis, wh why can't I try it out too? Okay, so here we go. Um, the mechanics of this are pretty much, are exactly, actually not pretty much, exactly the same as um, they were in Ocarina of Time. So, as you can see, we still got the spin attack, and regular chops, and, and all that, all that good stuff. So, so it's exactly the same. There will be some differences in this game and not in the time that we'll get into as we as they become relevant. So let's go ahead and walk into here. And again, there are some more uh, bushes and stuff here that we can go ahead and get rid of. Let's uh, rack up some rupees because we will probably need them. So. Another thing that's pretty, or at least I think is pretty cool here, is uh, now when you jump, well that's saying when you jump here, and here, and stuff like that, you start doing little cool flips and stuff like that, so let's go ahead and go in here. with that stupid horse of yours. It doesn't listen to a word that's said to it. There's no point in riding a thing like that, so I did you a favor and got rid of it. <laughs> oh, boo-hoo. Why the sad face? I just thought I'd have a little fun with you. Oh, come now. Do you really think you can beat me as I am now? Fool! <laughs> now that's a good look for you. You'll stay here looking that way forever.
Whoa, whoa, Skull Kid, wait for me. I'm still here to tell. You can't leave without me. You! If I wasn't dealing with you, I wouldn't have got separated from my brother. Well, don't just stand there, Deku Boy. Do something. Why are you looking at me like that? What, is there something stuck on my face? Will you stop staring at me and open that door for me? Please, come on. A helpless little girl is asking you, so hurry up. Oh, tell. I wonder if that child will be alright on his own. Okay, so, strangely enough, this is the new mechanic of uh, Majora's Mask. He turned us into a uh, Deku Shrub. So, we'll get in, late into that as we, uh, further into it as we get further into the game. So, go ahead and go over here. Hey, wait for me. Don't leave me behind. So, um, that stuff back there, I, um, apologize. So, so take me with you. You want to know about the school kid who just ran off, right? Well, I just so happen to have an idea of where he might be going. Take me with you and I'll help you out. Deal? Please? Good. So then it's settled. Now then, I'll be your partner. Or at least until we catch that school kid. My name's Tattle. So, uh, it's nice to meet you or whatever. Now that we've got all that straightened out, can we stop messing around and get moving? If I figure something out, bring it. Yeah. She's exactly this. Uh, <laughs> she's exactly the same as uh, Navi, except for she's not as annoying. You know, when she wants to speak to you, you don't hit her, hit her yet. Like, hear her yell. <laughs> uh, hey, hello. Listen. All that other junk that people found annoying with uh, Navi. The only thing I like better about Navi is that she's not as much of a smart ass. Excuse my language, as uh, Tattle is. Tattle is very smart and very rude. So. Of course, she'll tell you you can press C up to talk to her. And she'll pretty much tell us how to do this stuff, but I already know, so I'll explain it. Basically, what she was doing, other than telling us how to do a spin attack that I've already done, is if you press A while you're standing on a Deku flower, you dive into it, and let go of A, and you pop out. And you can fly. But you only fly for a short time. As you see, when he starts kicking his feet like that, that means he's about to drop it. So, or he's about to fall. So, try to judge your uh, time a little bit. So you make sure you get to where you need to go before he falls down. So. And over here, we're going to be picking up our first item for the game. Go ahead and pick it up. got Deku Nut, press B while flying to drop a Deku Bomb. Upon impact, it makes a blinding flash, freezing enemies in their tracks. Alright, so let's go ahead and pop out of here. And go over around the corner here. And drop down. And again, we can, uh, I'm going to go ahead and explain this. This pretty much is pretty exactly like Ocarina of Time. We've got the select item screen here, the item subscreen where all our items will be. So... Over here, we've got the map, of course, that'll fill out as we explore new places. And we got our quest screen. As you see, there's uh, some more songs we're going to have to get in this game. There's the piece of heart, heart container thing. There's our collectibles we'll be getting through the game. Our sword and our shield. So, the yeah, Kokiri sword, we still have that. And the hero shield now, instead of Deku shield. And then over to the right is something that is a spoiler, so I'll wait until we get our first item in there to talk about that one. So, see, I didn't press anything, and he dropped down by himself there, so. Again, she'll tell you you can Z-target and talk to her. We're not going to waste time doing that. We'll just go ahead and fly over and check it. It's strange, but the way you look right now sort of like, looks like this tree. It looks like it, it looks all dark and gloomy, almost like it'll start crying any second now. How sad. Yep. Let's go ahead and go out. And here we are inside a uh, little area here. We'll figure out where we are in a minute. So, you know, of course, if you press button, you can use your items, like always. Go ahead and turn around and go over here. <laughs> You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? <laughs> My 
I own a heavy mask shop, but I travel far and wide in search of masks. During my travels, a very important mask was stolen from me by an imp in the woods. So here I am at a loss, and now I've found you. Now don't think me rude, but I have been following you. It's rude and creepy at the same time. For I know I, for I know of a way to return you to your former self. If you can get back the precious item that was stolen from you, I will return you to normal. In exchange, all I ask is that you also get back my precious mask that, was, that Imp stole from me. What? Is it not a simple task? Why, to someone like you, it should by no means be a difficult task. Except, the one thing is, I'm a very busy fellow, and I must leave this place in three days. How grateful I would be if you could bring it back to me before my time here is up. <laughs> but yes, you'll be fine. I see you are young and have tremendous courage. I'm sure you'll find it right away. Well then, I'm counting on you. There we go. He's asked us to find his uh, mask and get our item back so he can transform us back to a Kokiri. So let's go ahead and walk through here. Or highly in better. gives me the creeps. That mask salesman was the... Sorry, just thinking aloud. But three days, even if we never sleep, that still leaves us with a measly 72 hours. Talk about demanding. Well, don't just stand there. We're going to see the great fairy. Look, you want to find the skull kid, don't you? The great fairy will know what he is up to. He, she watches over everything. And just between you and me, the skull kid is no match for the great fairy. Go to the shrine near the north gate. You'll find the great fairy in there. All right. First thing we want to do, however, is avoid that dog because he'll attack the Daku Shrub. Walk up here. Walk through, we'll be passing by a bunch of stuff that we'll, we'll have to do throughout the game. We'll have to deal with them, so. Let's get this fairy here. This introduces a new mechanic of the game. We're not going to get too much into it right now, but basically what we have to do is bring this fairy to the Great Fairy, and you'll see why here in a second. So, go ahead and go across here real quick. Wait, wait, hang on! This is my private property. Don't try using it when I'm not around. Alright. Uh, we'll have to deal with him in a little bit. But first, first things first, we gotta go ahead and go to, uh... Uh, great fairy. And the great, the great fairy is just right over here. Go ahead and go around here and to the right here. Go ahead and walk in. Oh no, the great fairy! Go ahead and walk up. Tattle, and you, young one, young one of the altered shape. Think we were turning my broken and shattered body to normal. I'm the great fairy of magic. I thought that masked kid, uh, child was helping me and I grew careless. All I can offer you now is this. I shall grant you magic power as a sign of my gratitude. Please accept it. You've been granted magic power in your current form. Press B and sh to shoot bubble blasts. Press and hold B to blow a big bubble. Release B to shoot it. Your magic power decreases when you shoot. Release it. Replenish it with magic jars and potions. The man who lives in the observatory outside of town may know the Skull Kid's whereabouts, but be careful. You must not underestimate that child's powers, kind young one. If ever you are returned to your former shape, come see me. I shall give you more help. So 
by the way you turn back to Halloween Link, we'll have to do that. Go ahead and go up here. Okay, first thing we want to do now that we got our new uh, power up is go ahead and blow a bubble at this George Mass Balloon. And talk to him. Are you the one who just popped that up there? Not bad for a Deku Shrub. We bombers have a hideout that leads to the observatory outside town. You need a code to get in. Maybe I'll tell you what it is. But don't think you're getting it that easily. I can't just tell you what the code is. You'll have to pass my test first. Are you ready? Yeah. Alright, line up, guys. If you can find all five of us by tomorrow morning, I'll teach you the code. Are you ready? So, yeah, basically, we have to uh, find all the kids. So, another thing I meant to mention is uh, <laughs> think about the fact that uh, the fairies' names are Tattle and Tail. Get it? Tattle and Tail. So, I always thought that was pretty interesting, and I've heard other Let's Players mention that too, so that's pretty good. Let's go through here. If you paid attention to that entrance cutscene, you would have seen the two uh, kids that we're going to be getting here. So, let's go. Go. There's two more left. To get the next one, we have to go ahead and go up here. Whoa. And there we go. So, dang, got down. There we go, got him. The last one we get will be in an area that um, we haven't been in yet. Why do we have to play these stupid rat slow games? Come on, hurry up and find them already. Only 19 hours and 43 minutes left until morning. Yeah, every now and then she'll pop up and she'll tell you how long you've got till the next day or how long you've got till the final day. So, go ahead and go over here. Okay, let's go ahead and go up here. Um, that man to the right there, we'll talk about, we'll discuss him later. So, because I'll need rupees for one thing I want to do. So, there we go, and we finally got him. Alright. You're pretty good for a Deku Shrub. If only you were human. Then I could give you an original bomber's notebook and make you a member. What do you think, guys think? No way, no scrubs! No scrubs ain't got no love for me. Oh, I guess not. Once we let some kid who wasn't human join our gang, boy, do we ever regret it. Sorry. But I'll teach you the code just like I promised. I can only tell you once, though, so please pay close attention. Are you ready? The code is 35421. The entrance to our hideout is in the East Clocktown. It's another thing, the, um... Code is randomized, so whatever it is for here, it won't be the same for here, so you will have to do that. So, but in order, anyways, in order to get to their hideout, we gotta talk to this guy here and give him the code, which is three. And it might be a good idea to write this code down too, because uh, there's gonna be an easy thing we can do instead of having to play this game with him again later. So. Go ahead and go through. So the best thing to do is go ahead and whatever your code was, like I said, go ahead and write it down somewhere. Because uh, I'm going to show a quicker way to do something uh, in a couple parts. So, and here we go to our first enemy of the game. Is what you don't even know about the Skulltula? It's protected by a hard shell, but its stomach is soft. So again, we have to let it come down. We turn around and shoot. It's exactly the same as uh, Ocarina of Time. Alright, it is exactly the same as Ocarina of Time. So go ahead and shoot up. There. Go ahead and roll up here. And talk to this uh, gentleman up 
here, and he'll only look familiar if you were paying close attention. He was an old guy walking around Clock, uh, not Clock Town, but uh, Harold Castle Town Market, and knocking around at a time. But anyway, well, well, a strange-looking child has joined me today. Oh man, are you serious? Your new friend of Bomber's Gang? Hmm. Your manners seem much better than those of your mysterious friend from the other day. Oh, arf, arf, arf. That ill man or troublemaker from the other day said he'd break my instruments. He said he'd steal my moves here. There was no stopping him. Even now, just watch him. He's probably causing trouble around Clock Tower. Did he gaze into the telescope? Yeah. Go ahead and look up. Found that troublemaker and that loud noise. What was that? Perhaps another moon stair has fallen nearby. Go through that door and take a look outside. But I wonder how that troublemaker got on top of the clock tower. The only way up there is through the clock tower door, and that opens only on the eve of the carnival. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and go to this door. Let me pick up the moon stair. You got the moon stair. Sparkling beauty radiates rather strangely. Alright, so that's all we're going to do for now. Uh, next time we'll go and do a couple more things before we get our items. So until then, thank you for watching everybody and have a great day.